My name is Toby Rush. I'm CEO and founder of iVerify. I was fortunate to grow up in one of the most entrepreneurial environments anyone could ever dream of, and it's called the, the farm. I was throwing hay when I was in junior high. My dad bought me a couple of pigs and said, you take care of the feed and the vet feed. And then I sold those and bought more, and then I bought a couple cows, and then I started doing hay, and then I had my own straw business. I didn't think I was creating my own companies, but that's what I was doing. And I look back at what my dad and my grandpa did. They were CEO and CFO and COO, and they ran massive small businesses day in, day out. I don't think I recognized it until I really now what I'm doing, like I'm doing a lot of the same stuff they did. I've been being an entrepreneur space as a CEO and founder for 12 years now. And I've always just enjoyed being out in front and leading. If you can't trust the guy leading the company, especially in a field that you're not familiar with, it's not going to work. I've pitched to a lot of customers. I've pitched to a lot of venture capitalists. I've raised a lot of money. Um, I've talked to a lot of people. And you know, one of my uh, downfalls is I pack an enormous amount of very dense information in very short periods of time. And as eyes would glaze over, I realized that's not very really effective. Um, so I just really have learned over time just to pare back the information, to really use visuals, use analogies, emotional um, words that kind of tie it all together. A startup is crazy emotional roller coaster. Lots of ups and downs and lefts and rights. You're going to get here and no, it's not going to work or that doesn't make any sense or that's ridiculous. I'm a competitor at heart. So I love a competition. One of the hardest things I had to learn, how do I separate myself from the company, right? So if the company succeeds or fails, that doesn't mean I as a person am less or more, right? So being able to separate those two and know I am grounded and have a foundation that is independent of the company. Now it's impossible not to let that my company's success or failure impact me. Like that's just not human. But at the end of the day, I've got a family, a set of friends, um, you know, people who love me for who I am, not the success or failure of my company. That is one of the hardest lessons as an entrepreneur you've got to learn is to separate your emotions from the ride of the company. And when you ask yourself, is this really going to work? Right. Am I really doing the right thing? You know, should I just shut the damn thing down now? If you get, you know, a number of really close friends who've been there, done that, and you all look at it and you can take the emotions out of it and you say, this doesn't have the legs. It doesn't have the scale. You know what? We've got to, we got to shut this down. Like we're just wasting money, we're wasting time and money and resources that it's simply not going to scale. Um, so it's not an easy decision, but then entrepreneurs also have this incredible drive and tenacity to sometimes push through that and prove them wrong. And then that's the, uh, the, the you know, the, the razor's edge that we live on.